Good morning everybody, welcome back to Linux Crypto and yet another video, an update on Space ID. Uh, and the ID token, we have to cover it again. It's uh, It's been very bullish again, we get we, we had another lag up. As you can see, it's it's been very clear, we've just been very, very bullish. Uh, we broke above our main resistance level right now around one, uh, at 0 0.85, 0 0.83. And we got to our next resistance level. We actually haven't touched the entire resistance level yet. Um, but we're there. Uh, we are dropping down a little bit, well, quite a bit actually from here. But uh, still, we're, we're going to have to see if, uh, if if this is going to be the top or not. That's what we'll talk about in this video. Um, and I'll just uh, try to prepare you as best as possible for everything that can happen. So that's my take on, um, or <laughs> before we get into Space ID and the ID token, if you want to receive daily trading signals by me, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment, both in the Discord and the Telegram server, you'll find instructions on how to join. Now onto ID. Uh, so I still think, I mean, <laughs> ID at some point is going to fall, all right? Um, with, a, with, with a rally like this, I mean, <laughs> this is not normal price behavior all right it's uh, it's it's wills it's institutions manipulating the market um which is part of the crypto market as well it's something you should be um it's something you should be prepared for um and that's happening right now and uh, volume is still very high but the volume is dropping which usually is some sort of a bearish indication or yeah it's it's a bearish indication the thing though is is and i said that yesterday as well yesterday we talked about the probability of going up to a dollar uh, a space id will keep going up uh, until we get a bearish breakout and we haven't had a bearish breakout since the 13th of april so for the last three days all of the resistance levels we broke above we held as support levels so you can for example see that right here resistance at uh, 75 76 drop down to that level held it as a support so right now our main resistance and that's actually a very strong resistance is between a dollar which is obviously a huge psychological resistance level um and 85 cents so we found resistance there we actually still have quite some resistance at around a dollar so um the full full kind of uh, selling uh, pressure from that level hasn't uh, been reached yet uh, but right now we're dropping so let's say our, our first support level really is around uh, 85 86 cents there's a little bit of support around 90 cents that's a psychological level of course so we're finding some some support there um but altogether our our main support is probably going to be this level right here around 85 86 cents if we can hold that and if from there we can actually uh, get back up to this resistance level we could very well break above that break above that and get to our next uh, price target which i wouldn't well 1.2 is the first according to the fips i set which right now uh, up until now have been respected quite a bit uh, 1.2 would be the the, the the next resistance level which is absolutely crazy but it's um as i said i mean even if cryptos like this are manipulated which i would definitely say that uh, space id is even then you can still rally like this that's just the crypto market so we'll have to wait uh, we'll have to wait uh, and see how it reacts to the support level. Um, if for some reason uh, this rally will will stop the moment we get a bearish break re uh, bearish breakout. So if we break down below 84 cents, then we'll probably start dropping down towards 75, towards uh, 68, those type of levels. But it will take time though. Um, it, it will still remain relatively bullish for a very long time, I, I think. But that's my take on the ID for now. If you do have any questions, then let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.